Hey everybody, I'm going to make a video right now that just kind of overviews the DPS tools that bards have in the Planes of Power slash Eldon era of EverQuest. Um, one of my general thoughts about bards in this era, era is that people don't use them effectively at all. Uh, in fact, they're like criminally underused. I think most people believe that, uh, well, first of all, there are very few main bards uh, around on the server right now, uh, on the Agnar server, that is. And uh, most people, even uh, as a box bard, most people kind of just think that the bard is just a person to, or a character that just like AFK and just does, you know, melody one, two, three, four, and then just sits around and does nothing the whole time. Um, I think if you're doing that as a bard, you're, you're doing yourself and uh, literally everybody a disservice because bards are actually an incredibly powerful class. Bards can do a lot of damage. Um, my bard is a quote-unquote box uh, that pretty consistently is able to do between 250 and 300 DPS in a given raid. <clears throat> and so one thing that I want to do with this video is kind of like just uh, talk about how I do that uh, and as uh, sort of in, in so doing kind of review some of the, the damage tools that bards have. So right now I'm just kiting. Um, I'm just cutting this mod in Plane of Fire. Um, the other thing, just a random note, you know, got this cool item. Uh, you can actually run five songs in a melody uh, by doing your melody one, two, three, four, and then you can click your loot to have chorus up all the time. Uh, just a super quick aside on, on doing this, because you can do this with the Breath of Harmony as well to get six songs in your melody. Um, as you can see here, I'm running six songs. Um, it's There's a little bit of an art to it though. Um, if you just click it randomly, uh, it, it will interrupt your existing melody on your songs. So for example, if I just like spam it, spam the loop, it's gonna interrupt my melody. So you have to kind of play the song um, when it's almost done. So you can see here it's at like two seconds. Now I hit it again. And it's not going to interrupt my melody if I do it in this way. Um, so just a quick tip, but you can theoretically, uh, as a bard on Agnar, you can run six songs in a melody if you are careful. Um, but anyways, that is not the point of this video. Uh, the point that I am trying to make here is to, to talk about the DPS tools of a bard. So again, the number one tool of the bard um, is actually uh, this song, uh, sorry, it's not a song, it's an ability called Boastful Bellow. This is like actually your bread and butter tool. It's an instant cast, uses some endurance. It does 200 damage um, initially. And then it lasts for 18 seconds. And then it also, ah, oh crap, I got a Jopal. No, uh, that's fine. But it also does 400 damage at the end of its cycle. So you see here, here's the 200 damage from the initial cast. Gosh, I got another ad. That's annoying. That's okay. And it's gonna do 400 damage at the, at the end of the cycle as you will just see momentarily. Actually, it crit for 1,200 damage. So again, this is actually why this is a super useful tool, because it has the ability to do that. Um, however, something to note in this ability is that uh, the cooldown on the reuse timer on the ability itself is actually faster than the ticks. So for example, if you just spam it 
on cooldown, you will never actually get the conclusion part. So if you're using this uh, in groups or raids or whatever uh, case you're using it in, you need to make sure that you wait to see the boastful conclusion before you hit uh, you hit the ability again. So I crit again for 1200, as you can see. Uh, so anyways, this is tool number one, is, is Bellow. Tool number two are my dots. Bards have five of them. Uh, you get basically one for uh, every resist. And I'm in Plane of Fire, so obviously I'm not using the... i got a fourth mob, jeez. Uh, I'm not using my fire dot because all of these mobs will resist. But your dots do a pretty considerable amount of damage. If I am running four uh, in my in my melody as I am doing right now, um, I'm doing 700 damage per tick. Uh, it's important if you're running dots and you're kiting like this, uh, you actually want to use your drums. Uh, all of the dots uh, run off of percussion damage, so you can. Um, maximize your damage here by using your drums. So you can see with the these are the drums that drop in uh, Plane of Earth, which are the best uh, percussion mod on the server at the moment. Um, so I go from 700 damage per tick to 900 damage per tick with the with the drums. So that's kind of tool number two. It's uh, super useful. Now that there are a bunch of mobs here, I'm going to showcase uh, tool number three, which I think is is really like where the bard shines in terms of its damage. So tool number three is this spell here, Denon's Desperate Dirge. It is a nuke uh, with a singing mod, and it does... With a fully modded bard, it does uh, 2,667 damage. So before I'm going to cast Dirge, I will always Amplify, which is basically a buff to your singing mod. Um, and then you can go ham. I got a fifth add, which is fine, because Dirge actually hits five targets. So you can see here, I have Dirged all of them. And I can just keep doing this. And you can see here that it crits for like 8,000 damage. Uh, so that's pretty good. Yeah, Dirge is like crazy useful. Um, so that's the that's kind of the third tool that bards have. Dirge is is great for for AoEing, obviously. Um, Actually, uh, about a year and a half ago or so, Dirge used to have an unlimited target cap. So you could go to his own like plane of fire here and actually Dirge the entire, like all the field mobs at once, which was super fun to do as a bard. Uh, you obviously cannot do that anymore, but it still does hit five targets, which makes it like an insanely powerful tool. Uh, it's particularly particularly useful in Plane of Time uh, during like Phase 3 and Phase 5 when there's a lot of trash clearing going on. Um, but yeah, these are kind of the three, the three primary sort of damage tools that uh, bards have at their disposal um, that make them like a very, very dangerous and uh, potent... DPS class, actually. Uh, my understanding is that in later eras of EverQuest, uh, bard damage actually is significantly um, higher, and bards can actually top parses. I think on Agnar, uh, or in the sort of Planes of Power era, uh, bards aren't going to be topping any DPS charts, but um, I think, like I mentioned earlier, you can pretty consistently do between two and 300 DPS as like a pretty good bard. Um, so what I like to do uh, when I, uh, during raids is I basically run um, one to two dots depending on my 
group composition. Uh, so, so if I'm being really sort of greedy with my damage, I'll actually run two dots. Um, so I will sub out Solomovician um, and just run a second dot. So like my typical setup will be my Warsong of Zek, Call of the Mules. Uh, Warsong is uh, my haste slash attack buff and Call of the Muse is the overhaste. Uh, and then I will run two, uh, two dots. Uh, if I'm not in a strong group, I will run Psalm of Vishen, which is uh, the resist buff, as well as, um, as well as, uh, what's it called? Um, as well as one dot. So it depends on the group composition. Um, I did get another ad here, so that's kind of annoying. Um, but that is okay, because um, I can kite forever. Um, so yeah, basically running dots, running boastful bellow on cooldown, but not on cooldown of the ability, on cooldown of the actual, um, sorry, not on the reuse timer, but on the actual ability's cooldown, because Again, you want to make sure that you actually can get the boastful conclusion off. Um, otherwise, you're you're kind of leaving a lot of DPS on the table. I personally don't like to use Sonic Disturbance unless I am pulling. Sonic Disturbance does uh, just cost endurance. It only does one damage. I think it can crit for like two damage, but uh, you know, not that useful. Um, so that's sort of tool number, uh, tool number one. Again, tool number two is our dots and tool number three is the dirge. The other thing to remember is whenever you're going to dirge, um, load up amplification and, uh, go from there because that will maximize uh, the damage that you do on it. Um, so yeah. I, uh, I hope you liked this video. Um, again, I really just wanted to kind of overview the tools that bards have uh, for DPS. <clears throat> they are a super versatile and powerful class. They can do a lot of damage, uh, just that most people don't really like to play their bards. They like to just sit AFK and uh, soak up loot and uh, not really contribute that much to the raid. Uh, but the Bard can do so much more if played properly. So hopefully you will uh, enjoy this video and you will be motivated to try to play your Bard uh, to the fullest extent possible. And um, yeah, enjoy the video. Let's see if I can get one more dirge in. I can. All right, let's wrap it up here with the dirge. Boom. All right. Thank you for watching the video, and I will be making more tutorial videos and other fun EverQuest related videos in the future, so check them out if you like it. Thanks again.